What is going on YouTubers? Abdroid7 here from AndroidTechBlackspot.com Today Galaxy S3 versus Galaxy Note for AT&T So first of all what are you gonna what are you gonna notice is the screen size and the size of the phone This is 4.8 inch this is 5.3 with do it diagonally rather than doing this is 1280 by 720p super HD AMOLED display and this is just regular you will notice the difference between both the screen right away they are both running at full brightness both running TouchWiz UX as you can see right here you will see much detail in every pixel and icons you can notice it right away let's go ahead and focus on Play Store icon Sorry, the camera you can't really see it, but you see, this one has a like deep colors in it, all the search version and stuff compared to this. Like right here, you can see the deepness, the two part that you can notice it right away. Other thing is they're both running S cream sandwich 4.0.4 3.0.8 kernel for both of them and none of them are overclocked this one has a 21 megahertz or MAH, I think that's my guys. Uh, battery, and this one has, I think, 27, but let's double check it to be sure. No, it has 25, you can see right here. Yeah, 25. So 400 more. But in note, I never ran, I never had a day that I ran out of battery using full days. Some some days without charging so I never had a day where I ran out of battery so I'm just putting the back cover on right now right here we're back let's go ahead and test the quadrant stroll to know what it comes down to be first we will like I would like to close both all the application that's been running so right here we can just press remove all and it will remove right here I'll press career RAM and that will remove let's go ahead and check out the RAM so as you can see sound at all clear it clear it 285 this one is doing good because this is my custom ROM this one still has all the bloat this one doesn't you can check right here 1.68 gigabyte 720 megabytes so now we will be running the corner score
gonna do one, two, three. See who does does it faster and better. Note has bigger display, so you cannot check the process by the process bar because this one has a smaller one. But you can still certainly tell how fast they're going. Oh, 61 FPS. Whew, 66. So S3 has a for has gone further than the Note, as you can see. This one already had only had 40. Three. This one has 66. Oh, that Galaxy S3 is done already. We'll see what the CPU looks like. Forty-eight fifty-six. Where is it? 35 wow so let's go ahead and check all the bottom numbers so total 4856 uh, CPU 7847 let's go ahead and check right here hmm. this one is 6347 sorry my camera does not really Let's go ahead and turn down the brightness so we can see it right here. 6347 memory is 3058. Right here it is 7000. 2D, 3D, 1000, and 2200. Yeah, they, this one really is outdated by S3 now. So this was just a uh, review on S3 versus Note people have said that once you go bigger I've been using this phone for a couple of months now so been a while you can go small but after looking after using this thing for more than six hours the display just gets your attention and I'm ready to move on from right here to right here because of the display and the cameras and all the other features will be greater than S3. So as always guys, subscribe right there. Like my video right in the bottom right here. Check out my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to go to AndroidTechBlockspot.com And for T-Mobile, you can go ahead and check out TechFanatic9. He does better reviews and stuff for T99. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.